Today, I will focus on the color and unity. And now in the practice, I will show you what I mean by that. Do not confuse this sketch with spontaneous drawing. In this case, this is nothing as a spontaneous drawing. In fact, this sketch is planned. By pulling lines over my paper, I created multiple geometric shapes. But let's focus on color and unity. Firstly, I will show you what not to do. Do not use only elementary colors. And as you can see on this side of the artwork, I made tensionly clash of the colors. So for result, we will have complete anarchy of colors on your artwork and obviously something that is bothering the eye of the observer. Now I will show you how actually you should do it. I would suggest to use color value on the shapes independently. Also, I would suggest to color shapes which are nearby in the colors and color values in a way that they are not in a conflict and they are not standing against each other. You already can see the obvious difference in a unity in between the left and the right side of this art work. As a result, we have on the left side of our artwork how not to do it. And on the right hand side of our artwork, we have example how to do it and how to use your colors to create unity on this artwork. Now, when you understand what I mean by color and unity in this specific artwork, we are ready for next step.